How do you design and develop a new product? And how can 3D design software, virtual and augmented reality assist in the process? Well, let's find out with the example of creating a surfboard. So in this day and age, the first step in product development usually happens inside of a 3D design software, where the first ideas of a product are put into shape and form. It's that magical moment when your product vision actually becomes something to look at for the very first time. It's the process when we start thinking more about the details of the product, the exact shape of it and the materials we use, the construction it needs to serve its purpose, in this case having a person standing on it while riding on a wave. We then also begin to iterate on different visual designs and color combinations, always with the goal of appealing to as many customers out there as possible. Although these applications are called 3D design software, they're not truly 3D at all as they are being worked on through mostly desktop computers with two-dimensional screens. So is there a better way to do this? Or should I say, is there an additional step that we can take to improve our design collaboration efforts with our team and our client? Yes, there is with virtual reality. So instead of presenting your design proposals in PowerPoint or even as printed renderings on the wall as it has been done for decades, this team of product developers is meeting in virtual reality to show, discuss and iterate on the designs they have created. The products can be collaborated on in real size and can be examined from all sides and angles. And best of all, the client of this product can also join via an integrated video call perhaps even from the other side of the world, and actually not requiring a VR headset at all to be part of this discussion. Now, this virtual reality collaboration process is obviously very useful and effective, but can we take this even further? So far, our design process has only been taking place in the virtual world of pixels. We have no idea yet you know, what this product will look like in the real world. And that's, of course, where augmented reality comes in. It can be pretty useful to augment a product design in front of you in the office to get a feel for its dimensions and general looks in the real world. But wouldn't it be cool if you could place your design iterations right into the environment of action to see how it actually fits into the space that it's meant to be in? Now that our designers have concluded their work, the product manager is happy and best of all the client has signed off on the design, we're ready to go into the final stages of this product development process. The production and the actual use of the product. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.